Hello YouTube, this is RV Granny. The video I put together today is a bunch of leftovers from other videos. Things that I just didn't use but were too good to throw away. So here they are. I found several of these historical markers. Some of them in very remote places and some right in the middle of the city. But they're all interesting. So I just thought I'd show you what they look like. This one marked an Indian ambush where some soldiers were killed. And then it also pointed out a road that used to be important to the settlers. This one points out the location of a fort, but I'm surprised it survived being so close to the road. This one was unusual. Four different things were memorialized on it. The next one was in a very busy spot, right next to a pawn shop. This one was out in the country. Fort Eaton was built by the settlers during the Indian War. And this other one marks the location of the Willamette Meridian. This is Silva Seed. They're a family-owned business that has been in Roy for 125 years. They collect pine cones, dry them in these sheds, and then grow seedlings to replace the trees that are cut down by the loggers. had to show you something interesting that I left out of my Roy video a few days ago. This is a shoe tree park. And if you look up in the tree, Should have brought my old sneakers with me. This was a gorgeous spot on the river. I wish my camera were better. The pine smell in these trees was just wonderful. We were on the Nisqually Indian Reservation, and this is the Red Wind Inn that is owned and operated by the Nisqually Indian tribe. On the way home, we saw this accident. That's a mill guard truck. They sell windows. A lot of broken panes in there, I'll bet. We took this a couple of weeks ago. It's Piala River and it comes straight off the mountain. But you can see where the water should be by the color of the sand. What did you do? What did you get into? Bonnie, look at me. You're filthy. I think she found a campfire. 